Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So I saw Grand Theft Auto 6 trending on Twitter, and I thought it was a joke. I'm just burnt out on any leaks about Grand Theft Auto 6 that it actually took a couple people telling me that it's real for me to want to even look at it. But it turns out it is real. Um, Grand Theft Auto 6 is apparently going to be set in Miami, Dade County, you know, Vice City, which I don't think anybody's surprised about that. I'm really excited for it, you know. As someone who's from the Southeast, I like games that are based in the Southeast. Not to mention, with it being Rockstar, you know we're going to get jokes about Disney and Universal. So, please make this game as good as you can. The thing that has people angry is... They said that they're going to be more culturally sensitive with their jokes. Or with their writing. And this has the usual suspects coming out of the woodwork to, you know, make their 15-minute video about GTA's going woke. That means Rockstar's gonna go broke. I guarantee you if you search GTA woke in YouTube right now, there will be four quartering videos already. You know, that's just, it's the nature of the beast. That's just how these dudes operate. Do I think that this game is gonna be some, you know ridiculous left-leaning stance on society and like no of course it's not it's rockstar if you really think that rockstar is going to kill their cash cow over cultural sensitivity you're a moron and if you believe these people who are telling you that i'm sorry but they're morons and you're a moron it's rockstar like they're the same level of social commentary that south park is not, nothing in these games is going to be like eye-opening, big, crazy revelations for any... I mean, maybe for some people, but they're not out here to change hearts and minds. They're out here to give you a sandbox that you can shoot people in in tanks. You're just going to skip cutscenes anyway. It doesn't matter, you know? Now, as far as the woman main character... That doesn't bother me. I saw a whole bunch of weird people saying, like, I won't be able to play this game because I can't align with the character because I'm not a woman. Ignoring that 50% of the game market is women and the majority of games don't have a woman main character, but they've been managing fine. It sounds like you're the overly sensitive one here. You can't put yourself into a little bit of outside perspective. It's got to be your cookie cutter world no matter what. I think that's ridiculous, you know. The main character of a game doesn't need to look like me for me to have fun with it. To me, games are stories, you know. I didn't get upset when I had to read the Scarlet Letter because Hester Prynne was a woman, you know. So why would I get upset when Grand Theft Auto 6 has a Latin woman as a character? I'm still going to play it. Still going to ride around in tanks and shoot people. You're going to do the same thing. Any outrage about this game is unfounded. It's not even going to be out for another two or more years. So by then we'll have 200 quartering videos about why GTA is going woke. And I'll be here for it. And I'm sure you will be too. So until the next video that I make, y'all try to have a good day.